Welcome to Muskoka. I'm so excited. <laughs> wow, mate. Far out. This is it. We're done. We did it. Looks amazing. You're elevated, you're private. Were there pain points along the way? Pain points along every building journey. You know? With a plume garden and a KWD interior. Yes, yeah, yeah. What, what did you say? Trust the Trust process. the process. Don't compromise and the finished product will reflect that. Why don't we come and have a look at your favourite room? Come on in. Oof. I actually love seeing Heath's face. <laughs> Can't hide it. <laughs> well, no, but like you're, you're the garden guy, right? <laughs> Come into my domain. It's beautiful. So, you know, when you're selecting stone, we don't select it really early because we want to see what's available at the time. And the stone that we had nominated wasn't available in a big enough slab. So, we pipped it. Yeah, and look, this is, a, this is not an island. You know, this is a continent. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, getting a slab to suit the continent was a challenge and you know but ties perfectly with the blues and the block detail yeah i love that that's beautiful it's a beautiful detail not discounting how amazing this feels to the naked eye people can't see where we've had to pivot and you've got to be nimble you've do because when you are on site you are living and breathing that block the orientation the weather you're walking it from dirt into frame and if you see opportunity for improvement we'll go back to the design team as a group and go this is a missed opportunity or this area doesn't get enough light in one example of that was the deck carried all the way through and it's like well hang on we're going to be looking at a lot of deck here why don't we reduce deck increase the garden introduce a fire pit and now look we've got a fire pit area that you know is a great sight line it's a great moment it's in keeping with that muskoka lake house when you can change things. It's always important to actually stick to original brief. It's really interesting when I come to homes that are finished, I feel like I'm coming home. It's not necessarily that surprise because I've been looking at this in my head since before we were even on site. You see it and the finished product in your head and then you guys start working backwards to then put the pieces together to create it. You've got to stay true to that brief. To, for in this case, it was Muskoka. So when we were redesigning the external space, you know, and we're, we're throwing around ideas, we kept having to remind ourselves, okay, well, what's the brief? It's Muskoka. Ow. <laughs> This is awesome. So, this bedroom, unexpected hero. Oh, imagine waking up to this every morning. But tell me, what did the builders say as they're putting in element by element at this room? So one element would go in and they'd go, really, that color? <laughs> Trust the process. And then it's interesting having all the trades and all my guys come back at the finished product because everyone is like, oh my God, it absolutely works. Sometimes I feel like saying, can you just not talk to me until it's finished? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'll come back on reveal day because all of these small elements come together to create something beautiful, but individually, it's almost like it doesn't work. Yeah, it's all part of the story. It is, yeah. Do you know what we describe this room as? Werther's original. <laughs> can you imagine? Like, pop, pop one of those in your mouth, yeah. and what's the feeling? Warm, gooey, <laughs> yeah. sensation lasts for a while. This is the Werther original room. <laughs> this is next level. Like we do some very, very cool stuff, but this is this is up there with one of my favourites. And the stone is really beautiful, but then when you've got the softness of the roll and just the, it's it just works beautifully. And if you look at this yeah. in its own individual element, it's it's not really what you call attractive. Yeah. But you put it in here and it pulls from texture and texture. You're pulling the whole garden in. You know, because it's from the earth, it makes sense. It does, you know, and again, a very punchy element, but when you tie everything else into it, it's amazing. We often get told that our homes feel better than they look, mm. and that feeling, it's what makes you enjoy the space, yeah. like the layers of texture, the tones, the softness. That moment over at the fire pit where you've got the silver birch at the moment, it's got you know, a few lasting leaves on it, but then you've got the green raffalepsis next to it and the crunch of the gravel. It's a sensory experience. I have a heartbeat. And anyone can build a house, but we design and build homes. You feel completely enveloped. 
The sun on my back. I am about to fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're pretty damn good at this. What do you reckon? I think we should do it again. <laughs>